Welcome back to the English news updates for this morning here on Metro TV. Continuing with the news for this morning, the Deputy Minister of Interior has instructed authorities to provide assistance to victims of flash floods and mudslides in the south and the extreme cold in the north. Deputy Minister of Interior Suti Magbun said flooding in Nakhonsi, Tamarad and Suratani provinces have subsided. Officials are now evaluating the damages caused by most recent rounds of natural disasters. He said severe areas in Patalung province remain inundated and local authorities have been dispatched to provide assistance to all victims. Meanwhile, the Deputy Interior Minister said the northern region has continued to experience extreme cold weather, with four provinces still considered disaster zones, including Mahongsan, Chiang Mai and Pechabun provinces. Officials from the local offices of the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation, or DDPM, have been dispatched to a total of 19 districts to provide warm clothing to all victims. The DDPM Director General Chat Chai Promlert disclosed that the department has launched censures specifically to prevent and mitigate the coal disaster in the northern region. On to some news now from the Metropolitan Police Bureau, in which the chief has said that police officers are not to take leave during the New Year period. Metropolitan Police Chief, Police Lieutenant General C. Wara Rang Sipramanakun has circulated a letter to ask his coordinates to refrain from taking a vacation during the New Year holiday from December 31st to January 5th of next year, except for urgent cases. He said any request for a leave by police officers will be reviewed by the head unit on a case-by-case -case basis. Police Lieutenant General C. Wara said that police forces needed to be there during the New Year's holidays. He said that it was important for high-ranking police officials to be able to administer its personnel in all levels in case of necessary incidents during this period. The Metropolitan Police Chief said further that police officers are instructed to intensify their measures to suppress all crimes to ensure peace and order during the New Year holiday. Taking a look at the news from the Thai government in which is set to receive the Chinese Prime Minister who will be witnessing the signing of two MOUs for the infrastructure development and agricultural trade. Prime Minister General Prayut chan o is set to welcome Chinese Prime Minister Li Keqing to discuss bilateral ties and witness the signing ceremony of two agreements. One agreement is an MOU for the cooperation to construct railway as part of an infrastructure development strategy for transport of Thailand from 2015 to 2022. In addition, the two leaders will also sign an MOU on agricultural trade between two countries. The Prime Minister will then host the 5th Greater Mekong Subregion or GMS Summit, which is being held in Bangkok today and tomorrow. The MOUs were initially discussed on Prayut Chan Osha's visit to China earlier this year. Moving on to some news from the Commerce Ministry now, which it plans to increase border trade to 1.5 trillion baht in 2015. Deputy Commerce Minister Apiradi Tantraphorn said on December 19th to the 20th, she will lead representatives of the National Economics and Social Development Board, the Board of Investment and other relative agencies to join a meeting in Mesa District in Thak Province to promote border trade. Joining the meeting also include local state private units. Ms. Apiradi added that the meeting aims to boost the value of border trade to the target of 1.5 trillion baht in 2018 in accordance with the policy of the Commerce Ministry. It also plans to raise the country's overall export this year by 4%. The government recently decided to upgrade Masod District and two districts nearby to become the Masod Special Economic Zone in Thak Province. The checkpoint marks the highest border trade value of 60 billion baht each year and is located at the opposite side of the Miaodi city of Myanmar. The Myanmar government also sets up upgrades to the areas as a special economic zone as well to boost trade cooperation. On to some news about the upcoming New Year's holidays about the airport rail link in which it has launched additional trips to facilitate the rush of passengers on New Year's Eve and extending its service period to 2 a.m. on January 1st. 
General t a w a t h a i s a m u t Sakon, president of the airport rail link, disclosed that the company will extend its service time on January 1st to 2 a.m. to facilitate revelers of the New Year festivities. The rail link normally opens from 6 a.m. to midnight. The airport rail link will also increase the number of trips, reducing waiting time from 15 to 20 minutes to 12 minutes to 15 minutes. Five additional trains will be added beginning January 1st. In the meantime, the five trains that have been in maintenance are now ready to return for service, which will help facilitate the rush of holiday goers. The measures were part of the government's campaign to hand out New Year's gifts to the Thai people. General t w a t c h a i said the extra vehicles will reduce passenger congestion at train stations by 13%. Last but not least, on the news updates for this morning from the Commerce Ministry, in which it has reported a sharp increase in business shutdowns by 18% over the past 11 months, while business registrations have dropped by 13%. Director General of the Business Development Department under the Commerce Ministry, Pong Pan Jian Wiria Pan, has disclosed that the statistics of business registration over the past 11 months from January to November showed that 13,900 operators give up on their business licenses and increase by 18% year on year. Meanwhile, 56,100 operators registered to set up new companies or a decline of 13% year on year. Ms. Pong Pan said further that 2,081 operators gave up their businesses, an increase by 17% compared to November and 27% to October last year. She pointed out that the fact that around 500 lottery operators stopped their business because of the high numbers of business shut down. The ministry expects that the entire year there will be a 60,000 new businesses with 4,422 operator registering for the license in November. The registered capital was recorded at 35.9 billion baht, an increase by 41% compared to November and 77% to October last year. The number of new businesses was slightly increased as people usually open new business at the first month of the year, rather than at the end of the year. Ms. Pong Pan said the Business Development Department is expected to see around 60,000 new businesses in 2015 due to positive factors including political stability and the government's budget disbursement in mega-projects and tourism, as well as the decrease of the oil prices. However, the fluctuation in the world's economy still poses risk to business operators. Those are the news updates for this morning. We'll be taking a short break now, coming back next for the traffic report as well.